Worthing FC TV following Worthing 3, Chess on 2. Uh, congratulations, you're in order, uh, Adam. It's a first first home win of the season. How do you feel? Oh, yeah, obviously pleased that, to get the win. Um, yeah, the, the man had come back. I thought, thought first half was an excellent performance, actually. A um, couple of, of moments where maybe lapsed a bit of concentration and um, a bit loose, and how they played, they left their wide players high. So, um, you know, if we didn't get it right, if we turned over possession too cheaply, then, um, you know, they would get in, and that was the case for the second goal. For the first goal, we should have got tighter on the cross. We have bodies back there, um, and obviously, you know, Dejan, I think he was um, always going to come back and, and haul us and, and score a goal. Uh, I think that was the Sod's law. Um, but yeah, um, Great, great team performance, um, but just a bit disappointed that we didn't make the most of it second half and made the game a little bit more comfortable than, than what it was in the end. Like you say, it was typical. Uh, Dejan Golding coming back, back to Woodside Road and getting a goal so early on as well. And it was a 2-0 deficit at the start of the game. Um, what changes were made to kind of pick the team up or was it more or less the, more of the same? No, yeah, I, don't, don't, I didn't think there was too much to be changed really. I thought we was getting into good areas, we was creating chances. Um, just a case of us being a bit loose. So I've lost count. The, the stats have been incredible, and the amount of crosses that we got that were unsuccessful tonight. Um, so you know we've got to get better. Um, we're doing well in games. We're dominating a lot of possession, but but ultimately what matters is the uh, chances created and shots on target. And if we go through that in the last few weeks, there's plenty of room for improvement. And you know one thing that we have got is a honest, hard-working group, and they do all they can to, to try and put that right. Has been a uh, frustration for you at home games this season so far was getting the goals, uh, getting a win. That was that was the big one, of course. But like you say, a lot of chances today. Uh, a little bit more um, attacking, a little bit more uh, attempts going in the box. Was that quite a positive sign for you that it was like a little bit more forward thinking? No, definitely. Um, you know, the, the, the messages have been to, to to play forward a bit more if we can and break lines with passes. And I thought some of some of the play was was excellent uh, to lead up to to getting into to chances. Um, Really, really did see that tonight, and um, you know there were some some good performances out there. I thought Kane was excellent again. Obviously, Mo getting two goals, delighted for him. He's what a great character, what a great great guy, great great lads. Can't speak highly enough of him. Um, you know he's he's been out of the squad from when he started at Weymouth and had to wait for his chance. But you know what a way to introduce himself to the to the Worthing faithful uh, on his first start at home, I think, in a competitive game and. You know, what a way to do it. I'm really delighted for him. I think everyone was delighted for him. Uh, he's already a bit of a fan favourite, Mo. Um, what an effort for him today. And man of the match tonight as well. And would you say it was quite deserved? Yeah, I think Kane running quite close. I thought he was excellent again all over the pitch and some really important um, passes that he made. Um, yeah, it's, he, 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 was, he was excellent. And one thing you know with, with Mo, he's, he's going to leave everything out on that pitch for you. Um, cover every... Um, bit of bit of pitch out there, and uh, he certainly does that. And um, you know, I think as a as a supporter watching your team, that's what you want from your team, and see all, all the players give it their all. Um, but yeah, like I say, excellent performance. Really delighted for him. He's he's worked hard in pre-season. Same with Joe Rye. They've been in our youth youth set up for a while now, um, and. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased that we're doing so well, but sticking to our beliefs as well, giving the young players a chance. Um, we've got real talent in, in the building and in throughout the club, from under 14s all the way up. Um, so for them to see that progression and that pathway still there for them, I think is, is invaluable. It's, it's what we do, it's what we believe in. So you know, I'm delighted that them two are doing so well. Mo, obviously, yeah, um, two goals for him today, but the other goal was another first Worthing goal. Uh, it was Sammy McLeod's first for the club. Uh, how happy were you for him to, to get that? No, yeah, another one that probably, you know, wants to start more games. Um, we've rotated it around in midfield, depending on, um, you know, what's been needed. I think that was his first home start as well. Um, he's played a lot in away games with Kane and Danny. Um, they seem to have made a good, solid midfield three away from home. Um, yeah, really, really delighted that he's, he's got on the score sheet. He's got unbelievable ability. Um, his ball striking off of both feet is, is exceptional. And, um, you know, I think he'd be disappointed with one or two other chances that he got. Um, one was an excellent save from the keeper, actually, that he put into the top corner and the keeper's clawed it out. But, you know, there's a couple other efforts that potentially could do better with um, but you know another another good display from Sammy.
One thing that was quite impressive for a lot of fans that I was around was um, how hard hitting Sammy can be. He really throws himself into oh, yeah. his challenges. He's got to be invaluable at this level to be able to have someone who's got that kind of bite to him as well. Yeah, definitely. I think going into the, the league, and I think it was evident, wasn't it, in the first few games how physical the league is. Um, I think the first two games within five minutes, JB got smashed in, in both of them. Um, so yeah, that physicality is... Um, you know, is 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 invaluable to us. Um, you know, to have another player that's over six foot two in Sammy, um, it, it is 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 huge for our for our setup. Um, but also, is is a very good technical player as well. Um, so, someone that we've got really high hopes for at the club, and you know, I'm hoping after scoring today that will really give them some confidence uh, moving forward. So, uh, this is eight games into the season, eight games unbeaten. Uh, how happy are you with this first eight games? Looking back with it, and uh, what's next? Oh, yeah, it's it's a real positive start. Um, you know, I think still think we look back on it and feel we've dropped points at home uh, in certain games, but the performance levels are there. And like I say, um, the lads are working their socks off. You know, in training they really do graft and work hard. And um, the scary thing, I think there's still more to come from from us as a group and and some individual players as well. And you know, it's my job to try and push them and nurture them and, and get that extra bit out of them because um, I know it's in there and uh, you know it's what we've got to strive to do. Um, me as a manager and uh, all of the coaching staff we've got to do do more to, to, to help these players because um, you know there's a real hungry group there that, that want to progress on in their football career so you know we've got to just keep nurturing that and um, you know like I say there's definitely more to come from myself. Phil. Well thank you very much for having me for your time and congratulations on the win. Cheers thank you.